Well, I think it's time to dip back into the mailbag and take a question from a subscriber or a fellow by the name of Doug Johnson asking if I could put together a little tutorial on how to play Caravan of Fools by John Prine. Now, if you already know this finger-picking pattern that he plays, uh, the same pattern that I teach on my channel, I'll leave uh, links in the description below to take you to those earlier tutorials that are more designed for beginners who want to learn this pattern. Like I say, if you already know the pattern, you're home free because this will be one of the easiest songs you can learn to play. It only has three chords in it, and they're all open chords, no bar chords, uh, three very easy chords, uh, E minor, A minor, and B seventh. What I want to do here, I want to play for you the intro, the first verse and the first chorus, and the guitar interlude. And I want you to observe and see if you can tell me what the commonality is. What's common between these sections of the song? distant drum, the pounding of the hooves, the silence of everything that moves. Late at night you'll see them, decked out in shiny jewels, the coming of the caravan of fools. Like the wings of a dove, the waiter's white glove seems to shimmer by the light of the pool. Some dull, blinding winter when you can't help but lose, you're running with the caravan of fools. The caravan of fools. Caravan of fools. You're running with the caravan of fools. So, did you figure it out? Yes. The chords are identical for the intro, for the verses, for the chorus. For the instrumental interlude and for the outro, they're the same. That chordal sequence is simply repeated over and over again, 10 times throughout the song, to be precise. So let's start off by introducing you to the chords and the sequence of those chords. And at the end of this tutorial, I'll show those beginners a little introduction into learning this Travis style finger picking pattern that John Prine utilizes. Um, Kansas utilized it in their song, Dust in the Wind. Eddie Vedder uses this Travis picking style. So does Paul Simon. Um, so let's get started. All right, let's talk about the chords to the song. There are only three in keeping with John Prine's simplistic approach to things. I think the song is in the key of G or E minor, and the chords are E minor, the A minor, A minor, and a B seventh. It's a beautiful chord. E minor, A minor, and B seventh. Played from the fifth string down. Uh, these three chords are played in this sequence throughout the song. E minor for two bars, then to A minor for two bars, back to E minor for one bar, E seventh for one bar, and back to E minor for two bars. That completes it, and then you repeat that ten times as you. 
Now for those of you that have already learned this pattern from my tutorials, recall that you're either going to be playing a 4 or a 5 string or a 6 string pattern. Here on this D chord, that's a 4 string pattern. You have to include that bass note uh, on the 4th string, the open D string, with that pinch at the beginning, and then the pattern revolves around those 4 high strings. Now for a C major chord, you're going to have to hit that 5th string where you've fretted the C note on that fifth string. That's your pinch in the beginning. You have to include that bass note and the high E string. And then the pattern is the same as it was for the four string pattern, revolving around those four high strings. Now for a six string pattern, like a G or an E major or an open E minor, you must include that sixth string with that pinch in the beginning. And then the pattern remains the same revolving around those four high strings. So I think what we've observed is that the only variable between the four string pattern and the five string pattern and the six string pattern is occurs on downbeat one, on that pinch shown in green, where you must include the bass note of the chord along with the high E string, the first string on that pinch in green. Then you do the internal rolling of the four high strings upon which the pattern is based around. And then each bar ends with that plucking with the thumb on the G string in purple. That's how every measure ends. All right, now I gotta tell you, in this song, Caravan of Fools, when John Prine sings the lyrics to the song, he elects to play those patterns on the four bottom strings. Whoa, I meant to say the five bottom strings, excluding the high E string, the first string. Uh, so what that does is it um, disqualifies you from using a six string pattern. You have to either use a five string pattern or a four string pattern. Because, for example, the bass note on the A minor is on the fifth string. But since you're excluding the high E string, you have to play that as a four string pattern on the four middle strings. Let me show you. What John Prine does in this song during the verses when he sings is he doesn't, he moves it all down or towards yourself and excludes this first string. So he plays it. A minor, E minor, B seventh, A, E minor, twice. Then repeat it, E minor. A minor, E minor, B seventh, E minor. Now John Prine does that little bass run just to break it up because when you stop to think about it, if you repeat this thing, you're going to be playing that E minor chord four times in a row. For example, E minor, A minor, E minor, B seventh, E minor, E minor, and then start all over, E minor, E minor, A minor, E minor, B seventh, E minor. That's why he does this bass run, which is just the G, F sharp, E. G, F sharp, E. When John Prine sings the lyrics to the song and he chooses to play that chordal sequence on the five bottom strings, excluding the high E string, that first string, when he plays the instrumental parts, the intro, the instrumental interlude, and the outro, he plays that on all six strings. And that's so he can include some extra notes uh, on that high E string and some hammer-ons. Um, so let me show you.
All right. Well, that should take care of um, how to play Caravan of Fools. So I think we'll call it a day. But for those people that haven't learned the pattern yet, but are determined to learn it very soon, stick around. I'm going to give you a brief introduction to this finger picking technique. For those of you that already know the pattern, you can, you can stop this video right now. <laughs> But for those that don't know the pattern, let me give you a little brief introduction to it. And then what I suggest is you refer to those instructional tutorials that I'll list in the description below. Okay, the easy part's over. All right, so we know the three chords and the order that they're played in and how many bars each chord is played. Now the hard part, the pattern. Now I gotta tell you a little story. Back when I was younger, I was watching Saturday Night Live and there was this comedian, Steve Martin. Some of you have probably not even heard of him, but he had, he had this one skit that I remembered to this day. He, he gets up there and he says, all right, I'm going to tell you how to make a million dollars and be happy forever. And he pauses for a minute and he looks up and he says, first thing you do is you go out and get yourself a million dollars. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and the way it relates to this is that We've got to do the hard part now. Get the million dollars. Learn the pattern. So let's get started. Now, for those of you that have already uh, been to my channel and have learned how to Travis pick like this from my tutorials, you'll recall that like for an E minor chord, that's a six string pattern. Uh, you have to hit this sixth string and the high E string on the first downbeat. I call that a pinch. That's in green on your diagram. So pinch on one, downbeat one, and then you would do that internal rolling of the four high strings. Pinch, inners, outers, G string. That's the full pattern. And when you learn it, as I uh, teach you in my course, you want to count it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now for the A minor, normally we play that on five strings. That's a five string pattern. Your bass note is this A, open A on the fifth string here. So you open up the pattern with a pinch of the bass note and the first string. That's in green and then the red. And then the B seventh chord. This is the bass note, the B on the fifth string. So you play that and the first string in that pinch. And then the red completed with the G string on, in purple. All right, Doug, I hope this gets you started uh, and helps you learn how to play Caravan of Fools. Um, just take it slow. I'm going to leave links in the description below to take people to those earlier tutorials of mine on how to Travis pick, if anyone is interested in that. And I'll leave cards at the top along the way for you to click on if you find those subject matters of any importance to you. So until next time, stay safe. If you have any requests or comments or questions, uh, feel free. I'm actually starting a Q&A forum where I'll be taking some of the questions I get from people and trying to answer those questions. So stay tuned for that. Hang in there, everybody. Stay safe. We're almost through this pandemic. Get your vaccines if you're so inclined. See you next time.